So as an intern at Red E, you get to uh, dig trenches. Thank you. There's gotta be worse things in life, right? This is to help people appreciate their, their work, their, their mobility, their youth, their muscles or lack of muscles, things like that. You guys find yourself in over your head into a project or an operation like digging a hole for a footing or rebuilding an air seeder well that's what ready exists for is to help you dig out of your hole take a look at this next video on how we help this farmer do just that All right, you guys, here he is. We've got the farmer pulling up his tractor. This is Larry Johnson, and uh, we are gonna change discs today. What a beautiful morning. Good to be here before the heat gets, gets bad. What do you think, you think he's done that before? Pretty close fit. That's right. But we are going to help Larry out by changing out his discs just to give you some bandwidth on your other operations, probably like spraying and stuff, right? And uh, we'll change the discs, he'll change the scrapers, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, let's get going. How many hours do you think it'll take? I don't know. We'll find out. 19 and a half. One hour. I'm going to be really I watched unrealistic. That, I watched that video on that 60 footer. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 I had the bit of undertaking. That was a disaster. Oh. <laughs> um, so, what's the first step in taking off a diesel sound? Well, first, you uh, use the impact and you zip it off. And then you be careful to not lose any shims. And then, depending how it goes, you put the shims back on. And we put it back where it came from so that uh, when we come back later, we're not playing a guessing game of how many shims there were or where they came from, and we're not losing any. All right. There you go, folks. Simple as that. Just grab an impact, zip it off, put it back on. <laughs> All right, so what is going on over on this side of the machine? So we're taking off Caleb? gauge wheels. This is Caleb, the newest member of our engineering team. Howdy. He's taking gauge wheels off too. What a coincidence. <laughs> Do you have a different strategy than Sam? I have, well, mine doesn't fit down there like Sam's does with the right angle. Oh, okay. So I take the whole thing off and take it all off at once. Okay, you're improvising. Yeah, we're working with what we got. Okay. All right, let's go see what Michael's doing over here. Michael's a part of our engineering intern team. He's been with us for already how many months now? It's November. November? It's so about eight, coming up on eight. Eight months, wow, seasoned veteran. Anyway, what are you doing I back here? I need to take another approach at it with suck here. You're doing the non-impact version. Non-impact, I couldn't get mine in there. I couldn't find another oh, 90 man. degree to get in. But we're this not is supplying, working pretty well. We're not supplying you with the right tools, <laughs> no, it looks like. this is working good. All right. Well, if you remember from our quarterly team building event video, quarter one, and uh, this guy got the high score for that punching bag game. The machine was basically breaking. So he's got to, you know, he's got to work on his pipes, his muscles, and keep them, keep them up. Yeah, he's gonna do it by hand. Everyone else will do it with impacts. Skinny guys like us, we gotta use the impacts. Pretty simple job, you guys. Take the gauge wheels off, get the discs off, put new discs on, put the gauge wheels back on. We should have this done 
in half a day or so. All right, we'll be back soon. So this is the Larry Johnson special, right? Yep. <laughs> and it works good. And Larry actually makes them and sells them. So if you guys need a, a scraper for muddy, sticky conditions, pretty much you haven't had plugging issues. You've no, studied never. this and he's made a lot of changes to get to this design. If you need a scraper, contact him. He's, uh, he's got them. He makes them every year. Perfect, guys. Now this is the air design scraper, right? Yep. This was designed, you know, it slips over and pops in. Mm -hmm. And then they have, they have this washer. You know, we've gone to a bigger flat washer here now. With Case IH, here's your blade scraper. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and the muddy, sticky conditions, it still builds up and there's friction. I've seen the SDX drill go down a field where this wheel is going forward and this disc blade is actually turning backwards. That's crazy. It's, it's lost the battle of <laughs> friction. And this blade is actually going backwards down the field in the ground. Any friction you put here, if you're in loose conditions, yeah. you know, it may want to stop and start plugging, pushing. Right. So if you look, I space my wheels off. So they're all completely free turning. The only job these have to do now is depth. They don't have to worry about cleaning the blade. Yep. So we never plug in like tilled loose conditions. Okay. We never, well, I shouldn't say plug, but push. Some, you know, that's a complaint with these little push. Yeah. These will never push because these blades are just free wheel. So that's where that air design comes in good. And you're able to clear out the mud off the back corner of the wheel? Uh, well enough well, with the air yeah, design? Yeah, if you really, uh, I mean, if you really muck it up. Yeah, you know, then you'll be unplugging all your wheels. You can see this outside one. I mean, I, you know, you get too close and where you're not supposed to be. I mean, that's where the spoke would be nice. You know. We can hook you up with those. Yeah, well, someday <laughs> I'll need them. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching. Remember, if you guys need an air seeder repaired, replaced, something like that, fixed, better parts, better service, give us a shout. We're here to help you. We're here to help you dig out of your hole or do the we're digging for you so you don't have to. And then you'll know that we know what we're doing because I don't know what I'm doing on this, but we definitely know what we're doing on, on the air seeders. So give us a call, give us a shout. We're here to help. God bless. Out.